What did he say his name was? Gebatron. Hello everyone, I am Gebatron. You may have noticed I'm working on a new intro. What do you think about it so far? So this is the annual State of the Channel video where I give those interested a deeper look into the channel, a review of the past, and a look into the future. Stuff like that. First and foremost, I need to thank everyone. I know it sounds disingenuous. It's at the end of every video and every YouTuber says it, so you're probably tuned out when hearing it. But you have to remember that I did not start this channel to become a YouTuber. I did not start it to become famous or to make a ton of money or anything like that. I simply wanted to help other people who were passionate about their favorite games, Hell Let Loose specifically at the time, learn more about how the game worked and answer the questions that came up inside the community. I did not expect people to subscribe. I expected my videos to simply be used as source material. It's why the first videos were not scripted. They did not have thumbnails. I didn't even have video editing software, nor did I intend to get any. But people did start subscribing. People did start giving feedback. People did start sharing and commenting and referencing my work in forums and Discord and Reddit. It forced me to improve the channel, integrate new accessories, and learn new skills. So when I say thank you, I mean it. I appreciate your support because I was never supposed to receive it. It was never intended. I make videos that help people, sure, but I think it's simply a great representation of you guys, the viewers and subscribers to Gebatron Gaming, that you can come out and support me when my videos are still extremely dry. They're not very entertaining, and there are no crazy kill compilations or anything like that. Uh, I'll talk about some changes I have to make later on in the video, but always remember that I really do appreciate your support in whatever way you show it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, let's move on. In 2021, way back then, I was only able to make 32 videos all covering Hell Let Loose, and here's what I said about it at the time. I would not expect to see an increase in the number of videos produced in 2022. I probably will not be covering anything other than Hell Let Loose this year either. However, in 2022, I was actually able to make 66 videos covering four different games. That's a big improvement and one that I did not expect. There are some reasons for this. One is simply I've been able to improve my workflow as I've gained experience making these videos. Second is that I started making shorts. I do count these videos as they do help the channel grow and allow me to cover more unique things or cover smaller topics more concisely. For example, the Did You Know Hell Let Loose series where I cover lesser known mechanics in under a minute, a series I will continue to work on. I know a lot of you like the long format videos, but there are a lot of people that don't want to watch an eight and a half minute video on how ammo boxes work. Shorts also allow me to release content while I work on larger projects in the background, which means a more steady flow of content for you. So shorts are here to stay. They also cross over well to TikTok, which is going pretty good for me. Um, feel free to give me a follow if you're on TikTok. Another big reason I was able to increase output last year has all to do with your support. With the money the channel was able to make over the last two to three years, I was able to make a couple purchases. By the way, all the money that Gabatron Gaming makes goes back into Gabatron Gaming. Uh, the first purchase was a laptop. This laptop has been one of the best purchases I've made in a long time, and it allows me to work on content from anywhere. I was able to cover update 12 almost exclusively from it while I was on vacation. I also tested positive for COVID at one point, and I had to quarantine from my family in a cheap hotel, and I was able to put out content during that whole time. So thank you all so much. Gebatron Gaming is now able to afford its own Hell Let Loose server, Gebatron Gaming's Proving Grounds. I cannot tell you how much time and effort this has saved me. Before I'd have to go into a public server to test things out, and half the time, literally half the time, someone would come in and either interfere with my tests, or kill me, or team kill me, or just ruin something, making all the time I spent setting things up a complete waste. We're talking about whole days wasted here. Sometimes I would get up at 2 a.m. just to do tests because the servers were less active overnight. But not anymore. Uh, like I said, the channel can now afford to maintain a small private server, and that's all thanks to you guys for all the support. It has only made the channel better and helped me be more productive.
Before talking about the future, let's touch on the games I covered. Uh, Hell Let Loose first. Hell Let Loose is one of my favorite games probably of all time. That does not mean it's perfect. Uh, 2021 saw a lot of progress with Hell Let Loose. I cannot say the same for 2022. Uh, I saw some, sure, but where in 2021 I said, all of which have moved the game in a forward direction, even if it sometimes feels like a three steps forward and one step back situation. In 2022, it really feels like it's been three steps forward and two steps back. There are still bugs and inconsistencies that I have personally reported left lingering from update 12, let alone the most recent update 13. There are things that were reported even before the patches were announced and they aren't getting addressed and I'm barely receiving any info about how these problems are planned to be addressed. A couple examples being the wrong planes dropping air assets. We played with this issue for five months even though it was reported before the update 12 patch. Same with the Stuka not being able to destroy enemy garrisons, reported before the patch, yet not fixed. It seems to be fixed now, but it was never in any of the patch notes for update 13, and I've had clan mates report that it's still inconsistent. We had to wait five months with it like this. This put the German faction at a significant disadvantage. This wasn't asymmetric balance type stuff, this was plain and simple, the game not working properly, and instead of just waiting another week to patch update 12 and fix it, they rolled right past it. That's inexcusable behavior to me. How was this not tested? How did this make it in the update in the first place, let alone get ignored in the patch? Update 13 has had similar issues. I can't help but feel like Black Matter has already started packing up their bags as their contract expires halfway through 2023. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm sitting with Hell Let Loose right now. It's still going to be the main focus of the channel for the foreseeable future, uh, but yeah. I want better for it. Hell Let Loose has also taken a direction that I don't necessarily care for over time, and it has invited play styles and players that aren't inducive to a good community for a game that requires, or is supposed to require, teamwork and communication to get the full experience. But that's a topic for another video. I still love Hell Let Loose, and we'll have to see what the future holds here with Black Matter's contract expiring soon and Team 17 taking the helm. Nice. I played Stray. Uh, no guides or anything, but I really wanted to play it and simply uploaded all my gameplay. I really enjoyed Stray, I recommend it, and look forward to a second game, uh, but will not be covering Stray in the future. I may cover Stray 2, but no more Stray. I also covered Beach Invasion 1944. This game is good fun and I enjoyed covering it, a rare example of a game working properly on release. I will probably continue to make the odd video with it, and will follow its development via the community tab. Uh, I even came out of my introverted shell for this game and did my first interview with the developers. I gained some good experience there, and hope to do more interviews with other developers in the future. So big thanks to AI Times 2 Games for that, and you should check that game out if you haven't already. I also covered and played a lot of Marauders. I really like this game. I've been playing since Alpha and the game has already come a long way in a short time. I'll definitely be making more content revolving around this game, including some guides. Uh, this game is just really addicting and much less intimidating than Tarkov, even though I really enjoy Tarkov too. Uh, check out Marauders and my videos on it if you haven't already. So let's talk about the future. Channel growth has been steady. We surpassed 5,000 subs the same time update 13 dropped for Hell Let Loose, so I was not able to really celebrate as I was busy with the update. The holidays followed right after, so I wasn't really spending much time on YouTube. That being said, I will be doing an Ask Me Anything or AMA style video here soon with some Steam Key giveaways to help celebrate with all of you. So thank you so much. That being said, growth has slowed as of recently, and I think one of the reasons is the way I market my videos. I've always been really straightforward with things like video titles. If I make a support guide, I'll call it a support guide. If I make a tips video, I'll call it, you know, eight tips for hell let loose, or something very on the nose like that. This has always been a choice. I've never liked the grandiose and clickbait nature of a lot of the culture that is YouTube marketing, nor was any of this a reason I started the channel. Uh, however, when viewers are presented with a choice between support guide and 
the ultimate support guide, they are going to choose the more attention-grabbing of the two, whether or not its content is superior. You know, a choice between Commander Gameplay plus Commentary Guide or Commander Masterclass uh, will likely end up with players choosing the one with the more clickbaity title. You guys know that my videos are more detailed, more in-depth, and thorough, but a lot of players don't, and they fall for that type of hype. Uh, so in the future, I'm going to have to swallow my pride a little bit and start using more ridiculous titles to grab people's attention. The space for Hell Let Loose and other games I cover has gotten more crowded and I need to make changes to compete. Uh, for example, I'm working on a Commander Tips video right now and instead of just calling it, you know, uh, 8 Commander Tips for Hell Let Loose, I'm going to have to title it something like 8 Tips to Instantly Become the Best Commander, you know, with like instantly all in caps or something. I know it's stupid, uh, but I'll still be backing these titles up with quality content. I'll be changing some of my older titles to, for instance, my Be the Best Rifleman Guide is now the Complete and Definitive Rifleman Guide, or whatever. Uh, you know, because Ultimate, Best, Masterclass, and Become a God were already taken. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I know some of you like that I didn't play those games on YouTube, uh, but I have to play the game to continue to grow. You'll still be getting superior content. I have opened the channel up for membership. Uh, there is now a new join button below each video. Just click it to learn more about becoming a channel member. Why membership? Uh, first, it will help me interact with you. As the channel grows, I find it harder and harder to keep up with comments, at least in a timely fashion. Uh, right now, I only have one tier of membership active. Perks of this tier will get special badges, emojis, and priority with regards to replies to their comments. Members will also receive early access to new videos. I kept it really cheap and easy to support as membership will only cost you 99 cents per month uh, to have access to these perks. Future perks I hope to include things like member only videos of things like my testing footage or online discussions and eventually I'd like to offer channel members opportunities to help me do my testing and opportunities to play with me and make content or grind XP as well as admittance to my personal discord server, member only polls, etc. But I need your help to get the ball rolling on this so we can get to a point where these other perks become viable. So if you've ever learned something new or have ever enjoyed my content, please consider becoming a member. However, I'd also like to point out that nothing will fundamentally change in regards to how things are being done here, so you can be reassured that you'll still get solid videos whether you're a member or not. So whether you choose to become a member or not, still know that I greatly appreciate the support however you choose to show it. Early in 2022, I had an affiliate marketing account through Amazon, and I listed my PC parts in most of my videos. A few sales were made, but Amazon recommended I suspend my account as sales were below their recommended monthly sales. I chose to suspend the account as it was just extra stuff to manage with little return. The channel has grown three times in size since then, so I am going to reopen my Amazon affiliate account. So look for that in the video descriptions, along with the Green Man Gaming link you can already use to purchase your video games. Remember that even if you don't buy the products linked down there, simply purchasing something else after having visited my links will still count towards sales for me, so please consider using those links when doing your online shopping. You're probably wondering why all the revenue increasing tactics. Uh, I've been doing this for three years now. It requires a huge amount of time and dedication. I spend the vast majority of my free time working on content, and in order for it to continue to make sense for me to be doing this on this large of a scale, I'm going to have to find ways to increase the channel's value. These are the ways I can do that. That doesn't mean you won't be getting anything in return, but I am going to have to make these changes. I hope you understand and continue to support me. Okay, moving on, there are a few games I have my eye on. If you follow the community tab here, uh, you'll notice that I tried to help kickstart Project Z. That game didn't reach its goal, unfortunately, uh, but it was picked up by a publisher, Modus or Modus Games, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, but that is good news. I look forward to making content on that game someday. Resolve is a new game that was just announced by some disgruntled Hell Let Loose players that felt that Hell Let Loose hasn't lived up to its potential, something that I agree with in some aspects. Some people involved with that reached out to me, uh, so I'm, I'm going to get involved in that and we'll follow it here on the channel. 
I've also been following Road to Vostok. Uh, Vostok has a very Tarkovian feel to it, and I hope to make content revolving around it someday. The Vostok developer does a fantastic job of being transparent, so I want to see that that game experiences success. I also got in on the Manor Lords demo. That game is going to be really, really good, and I'll continue to keep up with that. I'd also really like to make a couple videos about Hearts of Iron 4, as there are some things in that game that I feel are often overlooked. The Hearts of Iron series are probably my favorite games of all time, so I'd like to enter that space a little. I'd also like to try my hand at a video essay at some point this year, specifically one about Red Dead Redemption 2, and a particular moment in that game that made me change the way I was playing it. I did make a video about Red Dead Redemption 2 and how to hunt with three horses in the past, like two years ago, and I enjoyed making it. So lots of stuff on the horizon, and I probably won't get to all this stuff, but it's all on the table. Some other things is that I'm going to continue updating the Roll Asset series. Uh, <laughs> I got my first trolls this year, so I must be doing something right. Maybe I'll put out a video or two on Tarkov. I guess we'll have to see how, how 2023 goes. Is there anything you'd like to see that I did not mention? Uh, anything you'd like me to prioritize? Anything I missed? Uh, make sure to let me know in the comments. Put any opinions or questions down there, or just let me know how you're doing. I think that's it for this year's State of the Channel video. Again, Thank you for all your support, and I wish you all a wonderful and video game-filled 2023. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.